You gotta add up what you do in an hour and you find out it ain't much. You gotta have a, a I tell you, if you could clean 400, you'd have to be 4,800 pounds to clean. And you need to do that in about 15 minutes. That's it. Because you can still clean, right? But just work out, try to break a clean record, see what happens. Is this the first one? <laughs> Good. You know, like, I mean, Wade Lincoln has a tremendous bar deceleration, you know? He gets up, stops, you gotta do something, right? I mean, here, and here, and even overhead. Don't worry about pushing over your head yet. You gotta use another set of bands. Anyhow, this eliminates bar deceleration. You gotta accelerate all the way fucking through, see? Go ahead, just work up and make moderate jumps, whatever feels right. Don't forget, the bands is a lot. So yeah. we'll work up to a point where you think you're not gonna get any work. Let's take all the bands, work up with no weight. Okay. They train way too slow. They don't get anything done in an hour. I mean, they, they, it was a funny sport. I think most of them are great, introverted people. And so they're, they're satisfied, like you. If you're an introvert, you could run around these clothes for five days in a row. But being an extrovert, you want to change every day. Or you go out at night, you've got an outfit. You go to work, you got an outfit. You do the gardening, you got an outfit. They know, they got one outfit. I mean, they, they, they're too introverted. I'm guessing they're going to make about, he ought to make at least 250. Mm -hmm. I had a girl do 176. It took her power clean from 155. All right, she's a 132. 155 to 205 is two months. That's big. Medvedev said you must use bands of cords on the bar. He said that in 1967. 1967, they said you must use bands of cords. <laughs> One of the greatest weightlifters and rushing coaches there ever was. And uh, you know, uh, here's another thing. I'm just telling you. You yeah, can yeah. tell me to get fucked. <laughs> All right, but weightlifters never max out. You do heavy efforts. Right, like heavy singles. That's yeah. right, but you don't do records. So when you go to a contest, what do you expect to do? You better go there. You're not there to kick his ass. You're there to break your ass. Get a record. Swing for the You've fence. got to do max effort work. That's why it's described as the greatest method of strength training. You know, you watch that Chinese kid, 154. He crawls under a, in a set up in a box in a snatch, crawls under it, 484. It stands up with it. Max effort. He back squats 617. Max effort. If you're used to doing, I'm good. if you mean you race all the time, and I race at 100, and I'm always breaking my record, but you're used to only running at 80% of your fastest, who do you think is going to win when we come maxing out? You're going to run 80% of your fastest. You cannot even, uh, your brain, your central nervous system can't recognize you got to do 101%, something you've never done. How often? Every week. Every and I'll week. show you how to fucking do it. All right. How do you think we do it? Let's every do it. week, every week, uh, you would have all kind of clean records. Wide grip clean, close grip clean. Stand on the box, all four positions. You have all these records. I mean, it's, that's, that's, Dr. Medvedev had 100 workouts. How many of you guys do? Three or four? Right. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's Medvedev, not me. All right, go, go. I tell them they go too slow, right, Tom? I mean, they go so slow. Okay, look, I can, let's say we're fighting, I could kick your ass. I kick your ass every day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, how would I get, I look at that motherfucker and I say, hey, can I kick his fucking ass? Look at that big motherfucker. <laughs> so I'd have to really go out to kick his ass. But that's what you gotta do. I'm telling you, it waits is physics. You gotta do something you've never done. If, if, I, if I could bring you two guys in here for three months and we break our records at 95%, the, gym, the whole gym, you break your record of some kind, every 95%, you think you're Olympic less than Kohala? Yes. Yeah. All right. There, go. Right. Work up. Work up. I'm looking at you about maybe 250 or something. How much you clean? The same. 140. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. See. At the end, we're going to take the bands off. Hey, start going singles. If we're going to max out, you want that volume to be very low. You want the intensity 100%. I want to break a record with the least amount of work. The other day, 72 hours later, you'd be doing, you'd be doing doubles or triples. You, know, you might make uh, 18 lifts here. So the volume would be high. The, amount, the intensity is 75 to 85%. And 
I don't know if you know, but that's where the greatest weight lifter in the world trains, 75 to 85%. Fifty percent of the time, it's exactly what I do here. I, I apply it, all these methods that I use as Olympic weightlifting and track and field, believe it or not. I mean, there ain't no data on power list, idiots like me. But I went, I went through science. All right, yeah, do single. Keep the work low, the weight high. Don't screw around, man. I go like two or five. Yeah, hey, you're always doing shit you know you can do. Right? Okay. Do something you got to think about. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you play sports, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just kick the fuck out of a kid, but you got to think about being somebody good, see? Right. But you got every weight should be, um, you got to put enough mental effort into it to fire your system nervous system. Yeah. Okay. I'll go like, I'll go like 205. 205? Uh, 35, 55, something like that, and we'll see where you're at. Uh, and hopefully you're in pretty good shape when we break that record in a minute. <laughs> you got to look good. Uh, yeah. See, your form. Your form's good. This is just my opinion, what I see. I see this all the time. I got a million guys come here. Um, they mask, they, you know, the reason weightlifters are down in the world, they, all they want to do is talk about technique because they don't know strength. The strongest guys in the world did the biggest weight, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, put, I put 150 on your squat and 150 on your poles. You're going to go up 75 pounds and you're clean. I mean, that's the theory. I mean, it's, that's right, what yeah. the conjugate system of training is. Go ahead. I wouldn't make such small jumps though. Okay. At least I'd make a bigger jump than that. So you don't wear yourself out. Fuck her! Nice. Got at least jump 20. Jump 20 at least. Jump 20. That's, two, that's 85, just go 205, at least, and two and a quarter, you know, like that. Get up to something fairly hard without wearing you out, then we'll take these off, then it's the contrast. Yeah. <laughs> It'll take you a little bit to get your timing back, because you'll be lifting the same amount of weight a lot faster. And speed is very important, I know that. But, you know, why do, the big guy, got twice your size, you lift your weight twice as fast. So if you're as strong as he is, you lift it twice as fast. I mean, it, it's all there is to it, dude. Come on! See, this is good because you're doing something unknown. I mean, just doing that. <laughs> well, exactly. I said this. You're already doing a plus because you've never done it. you you got to learn something right here. Another 20. That was uh, 50. Oh, 55? Yeah, let's go 75 and then try to break a record. Okay, you getting it ready? Is that easy or was it easy? For him? Yeah, for him. Oh. You had to get under it. I mean, you're parallel. Yeah, you got it down there. It ain't a beauty contest. It's who lives the most. Remember that. Right. He's thinking now. He's thinking, hey. You know, try to pick up a hot chick and pick up a nugget girl's easy. Hey, how are you doing? See, it's hard to pick up a hot chick. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work to pick up a hot chick. Easy to pick up a hot chick. Come on! It's the same thing. No! Oh, yeah! But you gotta do the unknown. You, you, if you never turn, you know, if you don't turn that page, you'll never learn anything else. You gotta always turn a page. Come on! Hey, don't worry about how you do it. But maybe a point will, will stop you. Come on. Pull hard, baby. Pull way through. Oh, yeah. Hey, how about, how about one more for you? Then we'll take the band from. Tell you what, you want to start back over with this weight? I don't want to wear you out. Uh, no. But you want to do that. See, here would be a record. Yeah. You're strong enough, you'd break a record with two strands over. So see, that would be max effort. Now we'd move the bar a lot slower. But yeah. as, as the weights get bigger, they move slower. Yeah. So you get all these different combinations. 
Uh, the key to strength, you've only got one strength, I do, he does, but how can you move at a different rate of speed with the same amount of strength? That's the key, that's how you learn. Say 35 then, just to go down? No, I'm just saying, if you want to do that again, go ahead. Okay. But don't worry, don't worry, I want you to do some cleans now without right. them band. Okay. I'll try it one more time. What are you doing? Clean, clean. If this, your sport's ever going to grow, you got to have 10 year olds. Yeah. That's where you got to start. Right, right, right. So get, get junior high. Come on, do this! Go! Yeah! yeah. Up, 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 up! Good! <laughs> uh, and Fuck, and then it. have junior high team, high school team with letters, college team with scholarships, yeah. and you break weeks of records, give them some money, you would attract people into, you know, you're probably, you don't have no guys. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, so, you know something else? It teaches to squat under them. You gotta be a lot faster squatting under that bar now. Yeah. And you can catch them lower. Come on! Yeah. Oh yeah! Now, just if you're not dead, work start back somewhere, but work up pretty quick without bands. But the few feet, your timing is gonna be off. You'll be moving that bar a lot faster. Uh, like, like you've only got one strength, so I'll have to find ten methods for you to uh, challenge your maximal strength. See? And, and where the bar moving at different speeds all the time, because as the weights go up, they move at different speeds. Right, right, right. Like it or not. <laughs> so that's that's my that's what I would do. That's, I mean, that's what we do. Yeah. I mean, that's what the Russians and Chinese do. Uh, Chinese finish up with two bodybuilding exercises. Like I would, I do tons of work for this right here yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm weak back oh, here. Oh, well, yeah. we got simple. You can, can, you, you can tell it, like. <laughs> you, uh, you know, Fred Hitfield talked about CAT, a compensatory acceleration training. Well, the problem is, it doesn't work if you don't use accommodating resistance. If you don't have a bar or, or chains on, the weight, you know, you're so, you're so much stronger down there, up here just flies up from right. momentum. So you gotta have something to slow that down. Yeah. To where you pull the whole way instead of coast. Right, right, right. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. You have you just have to. I'm gonna show you a simple exercise. Even if you don't have a belt squat, you got a belt squat machine? Uh, belt squat machine? I don't think so. You got a belt? I'll, I'll show you some exercises these guys do when they come here. It works pretty good. Yeah. Building up the second pole. But I can make your lower back. I mean, yeah, it's weak. Yeah, yeah, we can make those so strong without doing any hardy work. It's all traction. See, I want to get a lot out of something. I don't want to get a lot out of me. Yeah. So reverse hypers and bell squats is the key. So they keep working on technique, but I, I, I do think it's because they don't know enough about strength training. I really do. There's a million ways to get strong, dude. And you know, you and him, I had to go two paths. That's all there is to it. We do tons of stand up leg curl. This inverse curl makes glute hams obsolete. Machine right here. Yeah. Yeah. Go! Up, 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 up! Nice! He got a shot at doing 20 more. Nice. Moves well. So, like I said, in 82, I didn't know what was wrong with us. I realized, well, I did have a feeling we were too slow. So I realized the powerlifters had to use four sequence mass time to say well, race the theory. We had to become faster. I also realized weightlifters need to learn how to lift slow. They can't lift slow weights. They can't lift heavy weights. They look so perfect and you put 20 pounds on a bar and they're done. You know, we'll do something hard and put 300 more on a bar and we're still doing it. But we learned to get fast. Come on, let's see this! Come on, man! Go! Up! The fucking weapon. What I tell you? Uh. <laughs> huh? And you done wore your ass out and you still broke your fucking record? Yes, fans work! Hey, now honestly, just yeah, think, man. just think with six months, if I had a fuckers like you here, I mean honestly, uh, because I, I train track, I got I trained two Olympic gold medals, winner. Olympic gold medals. So when I bring a girl in here, one Butch Reynolds and Mo Robbins, Mo Robbins is a freaking freak of a girl. So when I bring a girl in, they bring me a girl, I look at her, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make Mo Robinson in her. <laughs> I took a girl, it's a 400 meter runner in high school, 780, 724. Oh, I do, model athlete, model, and I, I mean, I know so much about this sport. <laughs> I got That's book it. upon That's book. It. Yeah. And then, like I said, a guy like you, and both of you, you need to put like, have a platform like that, do your speed work with that, 
put a double strand over for max effort work, all right? And try to get up the biggest weight you can, get out. I don't want to put you in that bell squat, all right? All right. And then, um, but get it on, break a record. You know, like Olympic League would say you make it by um, two and a half pounds. Because yeah. I, had, I had world record holders, three of them in the bench. And this is what they said. They go in, they break a record. Here's what they do. They, you know what they call this? The plan. Yeah. Break a record by five pounds and quit. If I give you five fucking pounds in a clean a month in 60 a year, what do you pay me? Money. Yeah, a lot of money. Yeah. I can do it. It's simple. But you got to have a plan. Right. And you got to make this brain do shit it's never done. Doing this, doing 80, 90% efforts makes you do 80, 90% efforts. You can do them all day long, but to yeah. do 101%, that's, that's what you got to learn. Hey, come on, let's get in that bell scar. Got what he needs. Two big records. Did you claim that, Alex? Yeah.